disease control and prevention estimates that one in six Americans are going to get sick from food poisoning this year. 3,000 will die of foodborne illness. The Rodale Institute, a foundation dedicated to the research and the, of the most efficient and healthy methods of agriculture um, for local farms, states that local farms produce a more nutrient-rich and vine-ripened produce that has had more attention per unit than um, industrial grade food. This means that the food from local farms will cook better, um, will give you better nutrients, and is much less likely to get you sick than industrial farms produce. To research this, I went to a, farm, a local farmer's market to see about reasons that people don't want to generally go to markets. Um, and I researched extensively um, looking for reasons that local farms just can't compete with the industrial farm market. Um, as I said, local farms produce a much better quality product um, than the industrial or, or than industrial agriculture can, but they still fail to succeed economically. The three main reasons that I found have been the lack of land available, the inability to break even, and the lack of demand. So let's begin with the logistical problem of local farms in America. In many areas of the United States, um, it is not fathomable to have, there's not enough land available for a sustainable farm, uh, especially in rural areas. Um, the documentary ingredients mentioned that because of the expansion of big cities and infrastructure, there's just not enough land to have local farms in urban areas, um, mostly because of the large, dense amount of buildings there are that can't be a farm in the middle of them all. Um, with the growing uh, population, we've been expanding cities into what used to be farmland, and my homeland or my hometown is a perfect example of this. Um, 15, 20 years ago, it was only farmland, and today, it's a huge suburban stereotypical area with a high school of 3,000 students. So, uh, most of the land that isn't built on isn't possible to really be farmland. It's either uh, the soil doesn't work, there's a bad climate, or it's just out in the plains in the middle of the Midwest where there's no people to sell the produce to. Um, so another logistical problem of farming is the cost. The cost of farming is very difficult to um, when competing with in uh, when competing with industrial food suppliers, local farms just can't really keep up. Um, farming is one of the highest subsidized um, industries in America because it's so difficult to sustain. Um, the Cat the Caddo Institute's Organization for Downsizing the Federal Government reports that over 800,000 farms receive subsidies um, from the government, but they're very upset that. The subsidies are very, very much tilted towards the larger food providers. Um, industrial food suppliers are able to operate at a lower cost because they sacrifice quality. Um, they pull food from the vine weeks before it's ready so it can survive the long um, road trips across America to get to each grocery store. Um, and they do very little time inspecting, so they're not going to check for the defects and the diseases that can be in their food, um, which ultimately results in a much lower quality, but also much lower cost produce that local farms can't compete with. Industrial, industrialized farms control the grocery stores, so local farms are dependent on farmers markets and restaurants to sell their produce. Uh, while I was there, I was noticing that there was a huge rush for each farmer to try and prove to me that their produce was better than the next foods down because they just need to sell so bad. Um, they work long, long hours and are stuck trying to sell desperately their food, uh, which kind of reflects on the lack of demand. So demand is an important factor when looking at the farms, um, looking at the farms, why they're not selling enough to make a profit. So despite the very trendy, well, I don't wanna say trendy, but uh, despite the trend in health food and eating clean and everybody's trying to get healthy, there's not sufficient demand for locally grown produce. Um, a woman named Tiffany, who wrote an article called Six Reasons to Shop at the Grocery Store and Not a Farmer's Market um, for the Humble Homemaker, um, included the price, the variety, and the convenience. So I went to the farms to find out if there was really in a sig significant price disparity um, between the grocery stores and the farmer's markets. Um, I spent a total of $12, seven of which was on a bag of beef jerky. With $5, <laughs> I got two zucchinis, three eggplants, and an acorn squash. 
compare that to Walmart, which is usually fairly cheap produce, um, for $5 I got a butternut squash. So the price really isn't an issue. Um, so another complaint that Tiffany had talked about was the variety. Um, she complained that she would rather have a large variety of products, um, way more than a large variety of the same product. Which come, which problems happen with that because most of the thi most of the products that will be in the grocery store will be out of season. So they will be treated with chemicals to make sure they don't go bad because they have much further to travel to get to the grocery stores, um, and they're just not going to be as good and nutrient rich as food that is in season. Um, so in season food is more abundant because it's in season, and because of that, it costs way less. Um, so a more common concern for a lot of people is convenience. And I can see how going to a farmer's market isn't convenient because um, they're not there all the time. Um, usually a farmer's market will happen like every other week or once a week, um, depending on the market. Um, so for me, I recently started to meal prep, so it was perfect experience because I got all of my groceries on Friday. So I had absolutely no problem finding um, one that was 10 minutes away from me on Friday. Um, so Arizona Community Farmers has a, a calendar with a list monthly markets every day of the week. You can find any of them, and they're almost always open. Um, in fact, there's a farmers market tomorrow on campus behind interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary B from nine to two. So go there. <laughs> um, so some parts of the speech that I just want you to keep in mind is that. Farm, local farms are producing a great product that uh, people should be trying to strive to get to nourish their bodies the right way. Um, but they can't sustain the cost because there's not enough demand, uh, it just costs too much for them, and there's not enough farm the land. Um, so now that you know more, hopefully you'll make an informed decision on where you get your produce, and you go to the farmer's market tomorrow.